TVRs, all built in Blackpool, are again based on road cars. And despite the fact that uh, they make fabulous racing machines, are available for sale in uh, sort of the condition you see them here. Obviously, the safety roll cages have been creeping substantially. German driver Klaus Smart in the number 10 car. Sands fluffs his start, too much wheel spin, and he's engulfed. But at the front, Jerry Marshall from pole position. Not a great start for him, too. Martin Perrett in the blue and uh, orange car gets away fine. Steve Cole, middle of the field now in the number three car. And won't be doing his championship chances too good. And at the lead, Martin Perrett, his uh, blue and orange TVR just ahead of Jerry Marshall. Now, number 27, we saw go past Bob Sands on the inside. Whoa, Bob Sands spins out. Bob Sands spins out at Russell, the first uh, left, uh, right-hander rather, at uh, the Snetterton circuit, regains without any damage done, as you can see, flat, plenty of runoff areas, but uh, count the number of cars that went past him. Bob Sands must be now right at the back of the field, right at the front of the field, though, Martin Perrett. Now, TVR driver uh, behind him, number 21 car, Jerry Marshall, has an enormous amount of experience. This man, though, that we're looking at right now in car, Martin Parrott, uh, Tim Parrott, rather, the world supercar champion, has never raced a car in his life beforehand. He is the 1989-1990 World Supercar Champion and has tested the TVR but never raced a car. Bob Sands making up ground thick and fast. Number 44 of Andy Purvis, his first victim in his charge back up the field. And right at the very front, Martin Perrin still holding on from Jerry Marshall. Marshall seems to be closer than ever, if possible. Seven there, the third car, Colin Blower. And this is Tim Parrott. Parrott has already lost fifth gear in his gearbox. That went at the start. But uh, despite that, he is pressing on very strongly. Tim, ta uh, Tim is an immensely talented kart racer. And uh, keen to try his hand at anything. Goes in uh, celebrity kart racing, as well as uh, having a stab here at racing cars. And uh, to start with something that has got so much power, is uh, really quite a bold move from Tim Parrott, but seems to be handling it all quite nicely. Bob Sands, again, we watch the uh, rear view as three more cars disappear behind him. Number 77 machine there of uh, Paul Chidecki, sometime motoring journalist, and monstering down past Chidecki on the inside. Oh, and going straight on. That's why he was so much faster than Paul Chidecki. That was the number one celebrity car of cartist Tim Parrott. Back at the front of the field, Jerry Marshall locks up his right-hand front tyre, trying desperately to outbreak Tim uh, to Martin Parrott. The number 15 car, though, still holds the lead. And Tim Parrott, uh, obviously in gearbox trouble. The uh, speed he approached that corner, as we saw him disappear off into the boonies. Uh, clearly unable to select the right gear, so having lost fifth at the start, well, he's going again. But uh, listen to the way the engine's not revving now, so he must have been missing a couple of gears in the gearbox. That looks like fourth down to third. The uh, huge torque of these engines would make it slightly easier to uh, survive with a few gears missing, but uh, Tim will have his hands full, no doubt, as indeed does almost namesake Martin Perrett with Jerry Marshall right behind him. Third, Colin Blair in the number seven car. Fourth behind him, John Kent. And uh, there's the number three car of Steve Cole. Back with uh, Tim Parrott again. And another spinner, the number 77 car of Paul Chidecki. He's out. There is uh, Colin Blower having a bit of a slide. Number 27 there, Jimmy McRae, the rallying Scotsman. And he really enjoys these cars. On the tarmac, he thinks it's just like driving a car on the loose. There's uh, so much horsepower and so little traction from the rear of the cars. And Jimmy Mann, who's always been uh, very spectacular, both in the forest and on tarmac in rally cars, and currently holding down a very good sixth position. Bob Sands, as you can see, clear road behind him, so that means he's dropped the people he's passed and is uh, charging hard up behind the leaders. Although at the moment, Bob Sands just outside the top 10, 11th. Big slide from the leader. Martin Perrett really feeling the pressure here now from Jerry Marshall. I'm sure Marshall is showing him the car both sides into every corner. Look at him here getting the car as far up alongside Perrett as he possibly can into each corner. And finally, the pressure tells Martin Perrett 
over brakes and spins. So Jerry Marshall sliding through. And Parrot now desperate to rejoin. Look at the way he's feeding in the power. The car wagging its tail all over the place as he tries desperately to get traction. And Martin Parrot there must have dropped five or six places. So Jerry Marshall now, the new leader, which promotes Colin Blower to second in the red car. There he is. Behind him, John Kent in third position. So desperately disappointing, I'm sure, for Martin Parrot. Very few drivers in any sort of British racing can withstand that amount of pressure for Jerry Marshall for long. He really does have the experience to make it tell. No touch, I'm sure, from Marshall. Just uh, plain and simple, a mistake on uh, Perrot's behalf. And completely understandable with this man filling your mirrors. It's uh, a very daunting prospect for even the most experienced drivers. Second, there's uh, Colin Blower in the number seven car. And just behind him coming into shot now, number 14, I'm sure, there he is, John Kent.